guys welcome back if you are new welcome and thank you so much for checking out my video today I'm actually doing something that I've never done before this is the first time I'm doing this type of video and this is a one palette three looks video or three looks one palette I always see them going around YouTube and they're very very popular so many people do them but I'll be honest I am a lazy, lazy beauty lover. <laughs> I am a lazy makeup enthusiast. So typically when I do a video for a palette, you get one look and one look only, okay? But I definitely love watching the videos where they do three looks or five looks or ten looks, whatever the case may be. I love watching it and I think they're great because they give you a different idea of how versatile the palette is. It gives the reviewer more information as far as how the palette actually performs. And it's just kind of cool to see the different looks that can be created from one palette by one person. So with all that being said, I am breaking out of my, <laughs> my little box today and I'm going to do this three looks one palette video you guys okay I'm putting in some work for you guys today but that is not the only reason for this video you guys in addition to the three looks one palette it's also a collab video for this palette now this palette that we are collabing to do is the ColourPop Chasing Rainbows palette very very pretty as you can see here the palette looks like a little rainbow now the person that I'm doing this collab with is Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. She is a fellow makeup lover, beauty enthusiast here on YouTube, and she has a really great beauty channel. As you can see, she's not afraid of color. She loves to have bold, beautiful colors in her hair. She definitely is very creative when it comes to coming up with different eye looks. I think that what really drew me to her was the fact that she does like to do her own thing, break the rules. She doesn't like to just follow what the quote unquote norm is when it comes to makeup and I love that. I think we have very similar tastes in eyeshadow palettes. I know she likes to review a lot of indie brands and definitely colorful, colorful palettes and eyeshadows. So. If you like my channel, I think you'll definitely love hers and love how creative and unique her looks are. So make sure you check out her three looks, one palette video for this collab. And if you like her, be sure to subscribe. Now, just some basic information about this ColourPop eyeshadow palette. There are 15 shadows in this palette. As you can see, there's no mirror in here as with most or a lot of ColourPop palettes unless it's a collab palette or something. But it does not have a mirror in here. These are the shadows in this palette. I'm going to bring it a little closer because this nice holographic packaging is kind of throwing off how they look so let me just bring it in a little closer for you so this is what this palette looks like up close hopefully you can see those colors a little bit better now I found with using this palette to create these three looks it really did give me a feel of how this palette works performs and actually the range in this palette I like this palette I'll just wrap it up in a cute little nutshell for you guys without spending too much time talking about it it's a ColourPop palette 16 bucks on the website right now they're actually running a special I don't know how long it's gonna last where if you spend $50 you can get it for free I picked mine up from Ulta during all of the holiday sales but with this palette I like it I think it's pretty consistent with the ColourPop formula like I said it's 16 bucks for 15 shadows so not too bad now I <laughs> almost well, I venture to say I have never found an eyeshadow palette that I can truly say would be perfect for me to travel with. And just that one eyeshadow palette and that's it. That's all I need. I wouldn't have any issues. This palette comes pretty darn close and that's really saying a lot for me because I love options. I'm a very colorful, eclectic person, but I also like to have those, you know, basic neutral shades that you can use to create eye looks as well. But this palette here, I feel like I could take this palette and 
the options that I would have to create different looks is endless. When you think of a oh, color pop chasing rainbows, you just automatically would think, okay, bright rainbow palette, you know, something like that, where it's like a very specific palette. But this palette has some gorgeous, um, you know, just like basic neutral shades in here, warms. It has some gorgeous shimmer shadows in here. Plus, you get your beautiful pops of color as well. Now, these ColourPop eyeshadows are cruelty-free. And in this palette, you get 15 pans that are 1 gram each or 0 0.035 ounces of product each. <laughs> so, that's just the basic specs on this palette. You do get mattes satins and metallics in this palette so let's go ahead and do some quick swatches before we jump into these three looks swatches from this palette I'm just sitting here like oh my goodness I really can do so many more looks than I did in this video these right here this is a look this is a look <laughs> this is a look so it's like there's definitely several looks that you can create with this palette and I'm really excited about it really excited so just my basic thoughts on this palette, you guys. Like I said, I really like this palette. I do, I like it a lot. Now, some of the shadows, as you saw, swatched pretty powdery, pretty patchy, but you are able to build those shadows up. You know, if you just go ahead, go in another time or two, you are able to build them up. So I won't give it too much of a negative review for that. Like I said, it is a ColourPop palette, 16 bucks. I definitely think it's worth it. I had a lot of fun playing with this palette and I see myself for sure using this a lot in the future as well as definitely taking this when I do travel and go visit my husband and things like that. So, with all of that being said, you guys, I would say if you're interested in trying out this palette or picking it up, go ahead. I don't think that it's a palette that you would regret picking up. I think that it's fun to play around with. There's some really gorgeous colors in here, and I think it's a great buy and a great value. So with all that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and jump into these three looks. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and jump into look number one for this video now i wanted to do a pink look for my first look so i'm starting out with the shade wish list and i'm just taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush and placing this on the upper portion of my lid making sure to just blend it out all over my lid because i'm using this as a transition shade today it wasn't hard to build up and it blended out nicely for me now the next shade I want to go into is Keep Cool, which is like a deep purple or plum type shade. And I'm just using that to deepen my crease. I wasn't sure if I wanted to just leave it on the outer portion, but I ended up using it all the way across my lid as my crease color. Now I did have to put in a little bit of elbow grease to blend these shadows together, but the end result was very nice to me. I liked it a lot. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a cut crease today. So I'm taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm using that to do this cut crease. I really love this stuff, you guys. It works pretty nicely for a cut crease. Now for the outer portion of my cut crease, I'm going into the shade Manifest It which is a pretty bright pink shade. It's a matte shadow, but it has a little bit of sparkle in it. You can't really see it, I don't think, on the video, but it does have a tiny bit of sparkle in this matte shade. For the center portion of my cut crease, I wanna use Not Plain. I'm spraying my brush for this because I want it to pop 
and I'm just placing that in the center of my lid, blending it into that first pink shade. And for the inner portion of my cut crease, I'm taking this bright shimmer shade, blurred lines, spraying my brush and just placing that on the inner portion of my lid. And I'm going to take the brush that I used the second shade for and just blend that in so that all of these colors can just radiate into each other. Now I'm taking that same brush that has the purple on it and just dragging it to my lower lash line just to pull this look together. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mascara and eyeliner. And this is the final look, you guys. Pretty simple and easy to do, but I really like how it turned out. Now let's go ahead and jump into look number two, you guys. And for this look, I'm starting out with this shade Feeling It. Now this is another matte shadow that has a little bit of sparkle in it. Like I said, you probably can't see it on the video, but it does have a little bit of sparkle in it. And I'm just using this as my transition shade all over my lid. Now for my crease color, I wanna go into this shade Bring It which is a really deep green shade. It's kind of like, I guess, an aqua green. And it's pretty pigmented. As you can see, I didn't use a white base or anything on my lids. I used my MAC Ochre Soft Ochre Paint Pot, but a very small amount. And the color is still really showing up nicely on my skin tone. So I'm just using that in my crease area, blending it out. And this is how that looks. Now I'm going into the shade So Meta. Frame my brush. And I just wanna place this gorgeous gold shadow on my lid. And I'm just placing it on my mobile lid. I'm not going up for a higher cut crease today. I'm just placing it on my tiny little lid that I have here. <laughs> if you see my lips moving, it's because I'm on the phone talking to my daughter. So I apologize for that. Now I'm taking that green brush, the residue on that brush, and I'm just blending out my crease area. And I'm also dragging some of that green down to my lower lash line. I'm really liking how this looks. Now I wanna deepen my outer corner and crease just a little bit with the shade Prism. It's a really deep, brown shade it looks like it's not black but it's a really really dark brown shade so it's a nice color to gently deepen your crease if you want now to add a bit of shimmer i'm using blurred lines spraying my brush and i'm just going to take this on my inner corner dragging it a little bit on my lower lash line as well just to add that extra pop Now I'm going in with my liner and mascara again. And this is the final look, you guys. I really like how this look came out as well. Okay, time for look number three. So this time I'm starting out with Keep Cool, which is that deep plum shade. And I'm using this on my outer and inner corner. I decided I wanted to go ahead and do a halo eye for this look. Now, I was being extremely lazy, you guys, and as you can see, I didn't even prep my lids. I just started in on my look, and yeah, it was definitely harder for me to build up this color on a non-prepped lid, so make sure you always use a primer or always go in with your paint pot or something because that prep and prime is needed. I was still able to build up this color, but it took me longer than necessary. <laughs> so yeah, I did regret not pre prepping my lids for this look. So I'm going in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm using that to carve out the shape 
of my halo eye. Now I won this Urban Decay Primer Potion in a giveaway from Sarah Smiles and I love this stuff. <laughs> I do, I love it. Every time I use it, it just does exactly what I want it to do. So I really, really like it. Okay, so anyway, I am carving out my halo eye. And as you can see, I'm trying to create a nice big halo on the upper portion. Now for the outer sides of my halo eye, I'm using the color Lucid. It's this really pretty, kind of like a duochrome shade. I can't even really describe it. It seems kind of like a green and brown shift to it, but it's really pretty. So I'm just using that on the outer portion. Now for the inner portion of my halo, I'm using Eclipse. Now this shadow is really, really pretty. It has a lot of pop to it. It just adds that brightness right when you put it on your lid. So let's go ahead with our liner and mascara. And I'm going back into Eclipse and using that as my lower lash line highlight and I really feel like this brought the look together it just added a lot to the look I think when I use that and I'm also using that on my brow bone to add some highlight there and I'm going to take a little bit of the residue from that purple and just blend out my brow bone so it's not too too bright but this is the look you guys look number three Thank you so much for checking out this three looks one palette collab that I did with Annette's Makeup Corner. Make sure you go ahead and check her video out and if you like her, go ahead and follow her. Subscribe to her and check out some more of her videos. So that's it you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you on my next video. Toodles!